everybody, it's Andy here. Happy Friday. I'm so excited to be here with you today for Play With Andy. Today we're going to talk about gross motor activities to do in the house. We've all been stuck inside this week because it's been so snowy and cold, and I'm sure your kids are stir crazy. Sometimes it's hard to think of new fun activities to do, but I've got, a, I've got three really fun things to show you today. Hopefully you can try them. They're all using simple things you probably have at home. So the first one we're going to talk about is stepping over. So as we have our little ones with Down syndrome and they're just starting to walk, or even as they're getting a little bit older, maybe in the three or four year old range, um, practicing standing on one foot and stepping over things is a great activity um, for you to practice with. It'll help strengthen their core, strengthen their legs, and also help with that uh, visual spatial awareness. All right, so let me talk about the first thing. Our first activity, you can see I've just set up some hardcover children's books um, in, a, in like a TP shape so that they um, stand up on their own. So what you can have your child do is practice stepping over, just like this. I'm just going to step over. If they're a little bit more advanced, you want to really get crazy, you can have them jump. I'm not going to jump because I'll probably fall. <laughs> I'm not very little and bouncy but they can just practice stepping over. Um, you can also have them practice doing a side step. So there's all kinds of different activities you can do um, just with the same set of materials. Um, you can also do the books flat and have them do a jump back and forth. Um, think of ways that you can use something like books at home to practice skills that might not be a skill they associated with. Books and gross motor don't usually go together, but they are a great way to use um, these materials. Okay, our next activity, I just went in my gift wrap box and I found a bunch of my bigger size gift bags and I opened them up and set them out. So this again is practicing stepping over and also one foot stepping. So you're going to have your child, oh this is tricky, step with one foot in each bag. And I set them up in kind of a stair step pattern. But again, as I step one foot out, I have to stand on one a foot and step. So again, it's that spatial awareness, standing on one foot. This one's tricky because it's very tall. Um, depending on the height of your child, will definitely depend on the height of the gift bags that you're going to use. If you've got a little bitty one, you know, just the regular small size gift bags. If you're doing this with an older child, maybe a school age child, you can definitely use these bigger tall bags. This activity is not just for little ones, it's also great for our adults to practice and keep their core strong. All right, our last activity, we're gonna go down on the floor. And I have really simple materials for this. I know it was scarce for a while, but you can find it now, but just a roll of toilet paper. And an apple is what I'm using. You can use anything for your weight at the end, it doesn't have to be an apple. You can pick any type of heavy weight. So, this activity, you're just going to pull the apple towards you and twist it back up. What this game is teaching your child is to use two hands, so you're learning, working on bilateral uh, hand movements, so those are all things to help practice things like riding a bike, or anything that you need two hands for. What I think would be really fun is if you had two rolls of toilet paper and two weights, you could race your child, um, to see who could roll up their apple first, and then the first one to get it can take a big bite. Um, but think of ways that you could get your child excited about racing or playing to use two hands to roll that up. I would love to hear about other things that you do at home to keep your child busy when it's so snowy and cold out that you can't get outside. Friends, thanks for joining me today on Play With Andy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.